Life on the Campo Campo Pescadero is near the town of Nagua in the Dominican Republic. It's way off the tourist track and consists of 30 to 40 wooden habitations. Each housing is a family. An earth track off the main road leads to it. Everyone knows each other on the Campo. Really, it's like one big family. Consequently, unlike much of Dominica, there is little if no crime, although a few might have guns for protection. Life on the camp was very basic. Each habitation has one main room, with a few bedrooms leading off it. Furniture is mostly plastic. There is a large well, which is really a big hole in the ground, and pipes run off it to the habitations. A shower is no more than a couple of corrugated sheets with a top head. When the well runs dry, as it frequently does, rainwater is used for drinking, cooking and for washing clothes. And of course, it's cold water. In view of his hardship, it's greatly to their credit that people of the campo keep themselves so clean and tidy. The habitations use cylinder gas, but often cooking is done outside over a wooden fire to save gas. Wages are low. For example, those who work in the rice fields earns five to six pounds a day. This is extremely hard work and they use machetes to cut the rice. Oil is used for cooking and pasta and rice can be bought at the supermarkets about 10 miles away. There's no shortage of food. Rice is cheap and there are rice fields nearby. The staple diet, apart from rice, is chicken. The chickens run free. Small fish caught in the nearby rivers, green plantanas, which are fried in oil and boiled, mangoes in season, and oranges. Red meat is a luxury. Coffee is plentiful, and the beans can be bought in large sacks from the supermarket or in bags like we buy at home. Some of the habitations have television sets. No one can afford a car and scooters are the usual form of transport, and an entire family can be crammed on board. Someone like a builder may have their own lorry. A popular part same is cockfighting. There are seven to eight cockfights once or twice a week, and the men get very excited, and a lot of betting takes place, with money changing hands. They are very proud of their birds. Fish fighting is popular as well, the fish comes from Thailand or are bred locally. They are put in a jar, swirled around to make them angry and then tipped into a larger glass broth, and they fight to the death. The people are Roman Catholics and there is a church on the campo. It is only an ordinary wooden building with a couple of benches for the elderly. Otherwise, no seating. Music is provided by a synthesizer. The people are very devout and the church is packed. A materialistic, fast-paced society like ours could learn a lot from the relaxed, stress-free way of life of the campo. The people do not have a lot of money and possessions, but they are happy and enjoy simple pleasures like music and dancing, salsa and merengue, and swimming at the beautiful beaches.